Well, I think it's a fundamental uh, cornerstone of getting to a vision of sustainability and net zero. And so it's technology, electro-technology, electronics, that will support that together with digitization processes. Uh, and so the All Electric Society is really at the core DNA of IEC as an international standardization organization, the reference for electro-technology because that will be the key driver in the systems that provide us with carbon-free energy uh, production and distribution. Well, of course, it's an interplay between the national uh, frameworks or regional policies and then what, uh, at the global level, we can provide in terms of standards. And so the more we are successful uh, in producing new standards and conformity assessment services that support uh, the transition to a carbon-free energy system, the better we can facilitate and equip the stakeholders with reaching that goal because the efficiency gains will be key in getting to, to that level. I think I was, I was struck this morning uh, by uh, I think a very inspirational speech by Dr. Kegel um, mentioning also what it means for the young generation. I think it's generally important that we can um, create enthusiasm among the young professionals to engage themselves in standardization and conformity assessment for electrotechnology with a view to the All Electric Society as a key vehicle to sustainability. And so I think particularly for the young generation that is concerned about the future state of the planet in terms of where we will go um, in managing our resources, in getting to a carbon-free um, energy system, that's where they can really make a, a real impact. And I hope uh, that uh, we can engage even more young professionals uh, and students as well uh, to that path.